Hello, how is everyone today? Thank you for joining and welcome to Beauty Table Talk. I am Kenda Ham and you can follow me on Instagram at Heavenly Hair by Kenda RVA or you can follow me on Facebook Heavenly Hair by Kenda. So today my topic is to talk about reasons why you may be losing your hair. Reasons that you may be losing your hair um, are, it could be hereditary, um, it could be something that your mom, your grandmother, um, that they unfortunately passed down to you, so if they tend to have hair loss, you probably will have hair loss based off of, um, like I said, hereditary. Um, it could be thin edges, it could be bald spots in the top, um, it could be a number of things. Um, also, your health. Your health plays an important, important factor on your hair. At a trichology class that I took was that we the stylists know that something's wrong with your body before you even go to the doctor because it shows in your hair. So if, say you're stressing, um, we can see that. Or if your blood pressure might be high or something, we can notice a difference in your hair. Or if your vitamin D levels are low, we can notice that as well. So we are the hair doctors and we definitely, definitely um, have to pay attention to the foods that we're eating as well as making sure that our bodies stay hydrated. Um, just like we need water to hydrate our body, we also need water to water to hydrate our hair and scalp as well. So health plays a big, big factor in your hair loss and growth as well. So let's go into hunger, meaning the nutrition. The food that we eat play a big, a big part as well. Um, your hair needs plenty of protein, glucose, and vitamins. So if you're not getting the proper um, things that your body needs, it, your hair needs it as well, it probably will um, cause some thinness, possibly baldness in your hair. So it's so important to eat the proper foods. Like I said, hydrate your body with plenty of water. Um, I noticed that my clients, when they started losing weight, that I noticed that their hair was thinning a little bit. And what, what happened was they weren't eating enough protein. They were trying to count calories or they were trying to get their Weight Watcher points, which that's cool because it does help you lose weight, but we also need to understand that food is um, gives us energy and it helps our body in a lot of ways as well as our hair. So pay attention to that, the foods that we're eating as well. So hassle, um, stress. Stress will make you bald. We do not need you ladies out here being bald because you're stressed. And I understand I'm a single mom. I understand what it, you know how it is raising your children. I understand having your own business, um, the stress with that. I also understand just life itself, you know, but the saying, one of the cliche sayings is let go and let God. And it's easy to say that, but, um, People think it's easy to say that and hard to do, but it's really easy to say that and just do it. Like, a lot of times we try to handle things and take things into our own hands, and we, we really can't do it. And before you know it, you don't have no hair, you know? So we need to just let go and let God do what he's gonna do so we can have some hair. So another one is healing. Um, medications play an important part of hair loss if you have high blood pressure you might tend to see some hair loss or baldness um, and really depends on your dosage um, some of my clients have high dose high dosage um, high blood pressure pills and I see a big difference in their hair and then some of them have low so I guess you can talk to your doctor because if you notice that your hair is thinning or shedding a lot or even just coming out in clumps in your hand, you might want to talk to your doctor about prescribing you maybe a low dosage um, high blood pressure medicine. And also drink plenty of water, again back to the water, and then 
try not to eat the food that's going to jack your pressure up. You know, like we got to stay healthy. We have to stay healthy. Um, your hormones play a big, big part in hair loss. Like I try to school my clients a lot on their hair. So when you're pregnant, you tend to have these spots that where your hair will come out right here. And what that is, is these, your temple area is affiliated with your hormones. So either when you're pregnant, you're going through menopause or anything like that, this is going to thin. And it could be all of this. It really depends on the person because everybody's different. But right up in here, you'll notice either that your hair will come out or it's thinning really, really bad. And for women that are pregnant, it will thin out of the fallout either while you're pregnant after you had a baby or maybe like a year or so after, but it'll grow back. Now with menopause, um, your body changes and so does your hair. The hair follicles become spaced further apart than they used to, which may look like your hair is thinning. The spots tend to go first are your temple areas, your crown area, and above your ears. So just pay attention to that. Um, just really, really pay attention to that. Like I said, let's go back to health. That plays a big, big, big part in um, your nutrition and what you're eating and stuff. So let's go with hairdressing. Hairstylists. Some beauticians are cosmetologists. Some people just like to style hair. And then some people really like to take care of your hair. So be careful where you're going. You might have some stylists that might put relaxers in your hair too frequent. And then your hair is overprocessed. Then you have people, not just stylists, but you'll go home and do your hair. And you have a relaxer. And then you'll go put color on top of it. And then wonder why your hair is coming out. You can't overprocess your hair. That's another reason or another method of how your hair can fall out um we definitely don't want our crowns which are our hair to look crazy you know um because when your hair looks good you feel good you know so those were the seven h's of hair loss it's hereditary health hunger hassle healing hormones and hairdressing I also wanted to um, talk a little bit more about the menopause. Um, menopause is actually a natural decline in reproductive hormones when a woman is about in her 40s or 50s. Um, it's just things that you can't change. Sometimes you'll see women sweating and say they had their own personal summers. Their bodies are just going through. But also when you're real hormonal, your hair goes through a lot of changes as well. So it's not going to last always, but just while your body is kind of up and down, that's when you'll probably see a difference in your hair. Um, so I did some research on the on menopause, and it says with women with menopause lose estrogen when going through. There is a loss of moisture and elasticity throughout the body, including the scalp. It's also important to keep the scalp clean from buildup so it can breathe and grow healthy. That's another thing. Um, a lot of people don't wash their hair enough. You know, we have um, companies that make products co-wash, which is conditioner. Like, how many of y'all take a bath with lotion? You know, you, you I hope you don't, you know. I mean, lotion is to um, moisturize your body and not to clean it. Just like conditioner is to moisturize your hair, not to clean it. So you need to shampoo your scalp and make sure that scalp is so, so healthy. Another thing that might cause your hair to um, shed or come out is thyroids. Lady, I highly recommend you get your thyroids checked. That's another reason that can make your hair come out. Um, a lot of women might not know they have thyroid issues until you go to your stylist, your beautician, and she lets you know, you know, um, that she sees some a change in your hair. And that comes from thyroids. Um, you know, I don't know too much about thyroids, but I do know that it will cause women's hair to shed and um, possibly become bald 
over time, not immediately, but over time. Um, I recommend you go to a dermatologist to check your blood count, your hormone levels, your iron, your thyroid, and vitamin D. I have a lot of clients who um, I can look at their hair and I ask them, I said, um, is your vitamin D low? And they say, well, you know what? My doctor prescribed me vitamin D. That means that your vitamin D is extremely low. And I see a difference in your hair when you don't um, take the pills, you know? So it's so important to take vitamin D. Like, that's why I was back to the seven H's about nutrition. Like, you have to, um, you know, take your vitamins. Another one is vitamin E. Vitamin E is amazing for hair growth, you know? Um, and they come in the little capsules. You can stick like a pen in them, and you can massage them around the areas that might be thinning. Or, and, not or, but and, you can take the pill. You can do both, you know. So, our hair goes through three cycles. It goes through a growing cycle, a resting cycle, and a releasing cycle. Each cycle varies with each person. Nutrition, back to nutrition, genetics, medication, and trauma play a big part in all of that, in all of that. Um, everybody is different, so it may have different results, you know, and time frames. So I just wanted to get on today to give you guys a few tips on hair loss. Um, I know a lot of people, you know, are concerned about that. Um, but also, let me recommend that you go, that you find you a great, great beautician, stylist, cosmetologist, that you know will care for your hair week after week after week. When you don't go to your stylist weekly, you will see a change in your hair. Also, when you think that, um, well, this person over here is cheaper, let me go to them, you know, versus going to somebody that you know will care for your hair, that can affect your hair as well. So, um, and like they say, you get what you pay for. So sometimes be careful in picking and choosing who you go to. Make sure it's not about the price, but it's about the quality that they're giving you. It's about the experience that you're getting while getting your hair done. And if you keep going to the same person and your hair ain't growing and you see it falling out, it's time to change stylists. But if you go to somebody constantly and you see um, that your hair is growing, that your hair is healthy, and they um, school you, give you information on how to maintain your hair and keep it healthy, you might want to stick with them. You know, sometimes I hear people put their beauticians in their budget, you know, because like their, their hair is their crown and it's like it represents them and it makes them feel good. You know, you can't be in a board meeting with your hair looking raggedy. Like that just ain't cool in corporate America, people. Come on. So I highly recommend that, you know, you find a stylist. There are a lot of them out there. Um, and if you don't have a stylist, um, you know, you can go on. There's a lot of booking systems that will give you information on stylists. And um, Style Seed is one of them. That's what I'm on, and I love Style Seed. It gives you a lot of information about the stylist, as well as people giving their um, recommendations and comments about their experience with that stylist. And that'll just tell you a lot about the stylist. So, again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in today for Beauty Table Talk. I greatly appreciate you guys. Please follow me on Instagram, Beauty Table Talk. Also, follow me on Facebook, Beauty Table Talk. And follow me on YouTube. I'm trying to get my followers up. Um, maybe Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, pick me up one day. You never know. You never know. So, anyway, and I want to give a shout out to Trey Johns, Stacy for my amazing shirt. I don't know if you guys can see the back. But the back says Miss Kenda. And then the front is Beauty Table Talk. So I want to thank Stacy for hooking your girl up and always having my, my t shirt game on point when I'm on, you know, live Beauty Table Talk and, you know, other things. So thank you guys again for tuning in. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave messages on Beauty Table Talk's um, Instagram page, Facebook page. Um, if you have any topics, um, that you would like to um, be discussed on Beauty Table Talk, please reach out and let us let us know. Um, we're open to 
you know, even having you on the show if you want to discuss something. So thank you guys and you guys have a great evening. Bye bye.